We are on. We are on. Episode oh. 12. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Yes, episode 12. Yes. Yeah. Episode 12, yeah. Yeah, episode 12. Yeah, I, I like the name you gave. I like the name you gave, putting things together. Putting things together, which is a, yeah. Which, which, is a, which is a polite way of saying something else, right? Uh, putting our blah, blah, blah. I together. mean, that's for the interpretation <laughs> of the listener, of the viewer. Uh, it's not on me. So, once again, uh, uh, welcome to whoever is listening to us. Uh, we, we love you. Uh, <laughs> And so let's go ahead and, and, and get into this uh, new talk. Uh, hopefully it is from your liking. It's going to be a little bit, try to be a little bit more practical. Uh, please go ahead and, and, and share it. Uh, sh share it, like it, uh, li like it or dislike it. I don't know. Uh, and Just obviously, give feedback. Yeah, and give <laughs> us our feedback. Whatever and, as, and as always, uh, we want to uh, remind everybody that over here we are trying to provide uh, approaches on how to consume and view, view and react uh, to information and situations in life. Um, having open conservations with the idea to provide a practical way to tackle life scenarios. Now, we are not trying to define a specific and totalitarian uh, way to, to do things, but it's just an approach that, at least for us, seems to be a productive. So it, if it works for you or someone you know, it, it, it is great, right? Because in this uh, uh, current noise living that we have, uh, we need to have a little bit of grasp, grasp, uh, grasp, grab something of control. Um, also, what we usually do is we take an article and we work around an examples uh, for uh, the article. And just keep in mind that we are not a specialist. Uh, we're not a specialist, we're not psychologists, we're not that. But I think we have something to say and something that can be good for some. Uh, today is going to be a little bit different, right? Because we are going to do a little bit more practice, right? Yeah. We're going to trigger ourselves. We're going to trigger, well, we uh, it, trigger. Uh, presumably, we to. We presumably to. trigger, trigger. So today, what we are going to do is, uh, it's kind of like a review from, past, not, not a review of the conclusions from the past episode. Yeah. yeah. And I would like to do an exercise where I take an article that I uh, saw years ago, two years ago, and how do all the conclusions we have done in, in previous episodes, how do they look in the practical way. Because sometimes we can say, uh, uh, question what you consume, but how does that actually look like? Like, how do we actually, like, what grabs my attention? How do I decide yes to this and yes to that? So it's going to be a little bit of recap of how did I decide to read something and how I went through that. This doesn't mean it's going to be uh, a win in my, in, in my reading list, but it was something that I, I thought it could be cool uh, to do it. And, um, and again, if uh, someone from all the things that I'm going to, we are going to be talking on right now, if someone wanna bring its own experience into something or share the title of an article and why it was read, it would be awesome. Yeah, so I don't know how many of these you remember and, and that kind of stuff, but for example, I'm just going to list it up just almost like in a sequence some of those uh, conclusions of the last episode. So one of those times we talk about beware of the fear of missing out and the fear of miss what? Misinformation? Yeah, the misleading information. Misleading, misleading information. Content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, so we, we had that um, that one time because it's like the one that dri makes the drive uh, to consume very unnecessary things. Uh, the one I mentioned a moment ago, like question what we consume, like why am I reading this? What, how is this beneficial to me? And if it's beneficial, how can I apply it? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Another one was uh, about words matter and they will mold our perspective on that. Yeah, that this one was related to the native communities or other and growth, right? Uh, the, uh, another one, I think this is the third one, is 
in decisive in decisive topics uh, try to put your shoes or what yeah, put in, in in other shoes and don't put your shoes in them put the shoes in them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah okay yeah yeah i get it i get it uh also we in another another time we conclude about when we hear the expression everybody's talking right like not it's really not necessarily everybody yeah, but that word makes us think or visualize something. Literally. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> literal. Yeah, I think it was the one about using language yeah, appropriately. Right? <laughs> because the... when when we say everybody, it literally means everybody. <laughs> everybody. Yeah, I mean, I know it sounds like kind of harsh sometimes, like kind of like okay, relax, dudes, and like it's not that bad. So wow. yeah, so those were the, the like the main conclusions. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the article that I have, and I'm going to try to go with the, like one of those th those things. And how do they look now? Let me see if I remember how to use computer. So there you go. So yeah, Boom. first of all, Boom. very topical uh, because everybody loved talking about this thing. Uh, and I was a fool. Yeah, the New Yorker usually tends to be a very interesting place to read, but also a very elite, let's put it that way. So I do remember that back in 2019 was this, it's like, I'm winning. Donald Trump calculated racism. Yeah, I did immediately click because- Yeah, what was your first reaction? Your... You know what caught me? First mm -hmm. The calculated racism. Because calculated racism got me like, so are you going to actually... That's your curiosity. Right? Yeah, yeah. Are you going to actually say where specifically he has been? No, where can you deduce he was racist? You know, it's, it, that has been a very... One of my gripes back in the time uh, about calling someone racist is like, you are insinuating or you know, yeah. So that's what caught my attention. And so, and, and right away, just to, uh, I would, I would like, like, uh, if I were um, someone that was interviewing you, right? So perhaps to, to give an experience that we had and that, that, that we are saying we have to take it, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what got your attention. But what was like your the, the real first reaction? What was your thought when you read that? When you read Donald Trump's calculated racism? I knew. I, mean, I, I okay. Yeah. I, I, I rolled <laughs> okay, my eyes. Attention. Yeah, I rolled my <laughs> eyes, and I was like, ah, uh, yet another. Yeah, I knew this was going to be just BS. Okay. But I just, so I just confirmation bias. Okay. I, I went, I went like a fly to the shit and trying to consume this. Yes, I I admit I, I was a bad consumer in this one. Uh, <laughs> so then, for example, go, going back in, into that, stop judging bait. my feelings. Bait, bait. Yes, I was bait. <laughs> so the other one was like, okay. words matter and we mold our perspective. This is the part where I was, I knew all of this. This was absolutely no news to me. And that's what kind of frustrated me a little bit. Like nothing from this article is something people didn't know two years or three years ago. No, well, yeah, three years before. Yeah. Uh, so just straight up in the first paragraph. Yeah. After a long, rambling and inaccurate field monologue by Donald Trump himself. So immediately you throw in jazz. Well, I am pretty yeah. sure she was right. Yeah, she was right. But the way, the way that you, I mean, it's not, let's say, a constructive way to bring the water to your, to your side, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's just bombing the other side. You keep bombing the other side. Okay. And, yeah. and, I, and I'll say, I, one of my uh, friends, George, he is Texan. Uh, he says something that actually kind of understood and I was, and I became a little bit more uh, careful on how to address an authority. It's like, 
he might be a, a bigoted and against the thing, whatever. You can complain about the policies, you can complain about this and, and that, uh, but he was the president. Still, you need to have some respect because if you, if, if people, if you don't respect your president, nobody outside the cycle, the circle, sorry, uh, is going to respect you. So it, this is why nobody also like, like if people inside the house is not respecting its own authority, why should we? And I mean, that, I understand that it can be also controversial. So yeah, this article yeah. is filled with a lot of things like sarcastic and, and, and straight up, where's the other one? This one, for example, talking about Carlson, lone African-American. So it's like, why are you using loan? Is there a need? So I had a lot of issues with that. Then she says, uh, suck it up later on in the article and that kind of thing. So unfortunately, this article is just to fit the division. The words presented here and the, the, they, and the words, how they were presented, it was just filling up the division. Yeah, it was not informative, at least for me. Yeah, you would need to be someone who just got into knowing who Donald Trump was two months ago. Uh, but at this point, everybody knew all these kind of things, or at least just report, because there it contains mm -hmm. a lot of reporting of anecdotes. Yeah, so that's that. Let me go ahead and, and, and mm -hmm. let me go ahead and, and go to another one. So the one about indivisive topics, yeah. Try to put your, yourself in the other people's shoes and not bring your own shoes. Mm -hmm. Look, so he, he's presenting a conversation with uh, this Carlson, the secretary Carlson, say something like very nice to Donald Trump and that kind of thing, right? Like almost like worship, like, it sounds like almost worshiping, right? Like this, yeah. Um, so basically, they, I think for, for people to understand the context is like, they were saying like, would you rather have a non-politician uh, who, spe who speeches in filter and gets a lot of stuff done or someone on somebody with a silver tongue who gets nothing done? So what do you prefer? Mm -hmm. uh, and Donald Trump makes uh, a little bit joke of that, like, because like, oh, I thought he did. I thought I had a silver tongue and laughter, right? Uh, so fine. And then he says, and then he says, uh, I'm totally you. yeah, I mean, he, yeah, sure. Sure. It's ridiculous totally and exaggerated. Whatever. Whatever, in my opinion, again, it's totally unjustifiable to say this. Sucking up to Trump, shamelessly sucking up to Trump. So I don't know who Carlson is. I don't trust politicians. Yeah. But we don't know what's the context of, 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 of this person like is he actually a, a person who, who worships Donald Trump or is he someone who needs to do it? Yeah, who needs to do it because uh, a job is a job. I do understand that politicians, corruptions, and as long as I'm getting something from this administration, I will say whatever BS the president needs. I do understand that. But the author, I'm going to the author, like, I don't think it was necessary to be I mean, talking what, about. Why, why is needed to, to use certain adjectives? To I keep mean, punching this person, you know? With the, yes. Yeah. What's the so, aim of the article? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And later on the article, because and obviously it's sorry, a... Sorry you know, to interrupt. Just yes. keep thinking about the title, because I think it's important. I mean, the title was, uh, I'm winning for Donald mm -hmm. Trump's calculated racism. Okay, so it gives it should give a hint on what is going to be about, on what the article is going to be about. But I don't know right now. I mean, I I didn't read this one. 
And so I would just say what I'm seeing with what we are uh, seeing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't see any explanation on where is the calculated racism, on how he calculated it, and <laughs> why, and etc. Et yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, I get it. That's important. That's that's important. Yeah, I mean, you're putting it in that in the title. So. Yeah, clearly. So the thing is that the part about the talk, talk about racism and that kind of stuff comes in uh, basically in this paragraph where she talks about um, uh, the president going ex president to going into um, one of its rallies and he was talking about uh, some demo some congresswomen and apparently mm -hmm. one was, is from uh, Somalia. And obviously, mm -hmm. like thousands of red shirted MAGA fans chanted, like sent her back and that kind of stuff. Of course, this is a, a would be a horrible thing. And of course, he never, I don't want to say condemned, but uh, because that's the thing that they usually, the concept they usually use. Uh, but he said nothing, right? He's always giving this pass. All wrong things to do because sure it's a horrible situation for everybody over here but the way um, going back into the putting yourself in the other people's shoes first I used the example with Carlson which is already in the in the cabinet so it's more complicated due to the reasons I just said but then the way she portrays the people uh, in, in the article a little bit there are more mentioned uh, the people who vote for Trump, the MAGA fans, yeah, it's not a nice view of them. And once again, we go into the world, words matter and putting your, your shoes on those people. It's like, you need to understand those people, they are not evil. Yeah. Maybe they feel, uh, they felt at the moment like, uh, like uh, separated or discriminated in a way. And I don't care if well, I'm talking about as an outsider, right? But I don't think it should mm -hmm. matter if they are from whatever group. Is you need to try to bring everybody together. A moment ago, you said it like a, some time ago, right? Let me go ahead and mm -hmm. finish up, and then uh, the last one, which ties up also into all of these that we are, we were saying about the people, like it's not everybody, uh, so. It's not everybody, uh, the perception of the society in America during this uh, time, it, it is presented as uh, as very total numbers. Is either like the fans or the people who are not fans. Yeah. And there were a lot of um, context within America. So I think she says, now how do you write about this week? Uh, like this in America, uh, having breaking points. Uh, let me see, ah, Jesus. Is there a it's quite a long article. Yeah, it is a little bit long, so I don't want to stop too much. Uh, well, okay, so in this part, it's a little bit when she landed a little bit the concept of calculated racism, but still it, she talks in generalized matter of um, all the game that is being played of a, of, a, of a political civil war. I mean, I don't know if it's as big as a political civil war at, at a time. It was a political war, but that always happens. But anyway, at, at, at the end, the way this the whole narrative in the article is has been always this but totalitarian I sides. I, I will just put it um, out there. I mean, providing uh, articles that just start uh, throwing bombs to the other side, it is uh, making more and more of a political civil war. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, the, Certain kind of articles, perhaps in some cases, um, make the things even worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, it, I, put, I, it will it will increase the division. Between yes. the, the group. That's yeah, all of all of this is like part of the things that feed uh, uh, the whole 
uh, division that the U.S. Ha have right now, mm -hmm. right? Uh, maybe I couldn't land up the, or I, I forgot the exact part uh, on the article about to make the point about when the expression of it's everybody like that, right? Uh, but I think it kind of gets uh, gets into the whole like they are all racist. Everybody that is in this cabinet or everything that is a fanny, they are all racist. That's yeah, so yeah. you're pro pro uh, promoting them like that, which I think it is also unfair uh, because again, you don't know the context of many people because some of them feel like there's nothing left for them. But anyway, hope this huh? uh, at least from a practical perspective. How do we land uh, all this kind of stuff, right? Where do I need to pay attention? After I got baited, I went through all these kind of steps and try to see like, where is she putting generalizing way too much? The language that she was using um, and, and what is the outcome that she is giving to the people? She is molding their, uh, their reality of it. But anyway, I hope so this just, is clear. I was uh, not uh, as bad. Uh, just, just, just a final question. So, how did your um, your idea change? I mean, after reading just the title, and after reading the whole article, well, how did your your view change on the on the article on the title, and uh, what you thought at the first uh, reaction. Well. The thing is, and this is why it was a bait, right? And this is why I categorize this as a bad consumption of information. Because I knew what was there only by the article and by the first event. I knew what she was, how this was going to be played out. I didn't know about the specific examples, but it was like, oh, yet again, the same thing. I just waste my time in this. That was my conclusion at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But anyway, so now we're going to try to do similarly, but with things that I haven't read. Live. Yeah, live. No, live. Well, partially live because you already sent me the. Uh, the yeah, but you didn't right? read it. I didn't. I mean, read I just it. showed you the what what is about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so just just so just so you were ready uh, during the stream and your your facial reaction would end. Apparently we have someone over here uh, uh, looking at us, Academy Impossible. So what's up? So I don't know if this is too boring or we're too crazy or I don't know if you're a bot. So hi. Anyway, so yes, yeah, sorry for to, to be so unpolite. I'm not from Europe. Mm -hmm. So now we are going to show one of those articles that you are sending.